Dear 2014 Me, The Nights in the Dreams comics by Archie are bad. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. Okay, I need to slow down for a minute. The first three issues are actually okay. It's the following three issues, four through six. Disappointment in the game of life! Let me provide you with context. The first three issues of the Nights in the Dreams Archie comic series were pretty faithful to the games, were pretty much a retelling of sorts. So once you get done with the first part of the miniseries, and you want to make another, what do you do? I got it! Make a new plot as you go. That always works, especially when you get... Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go reread this because it's been a couple of years since I last read these comics, so I just need to make sure what I remember is straight. Today, what a lovely day! <laughs> what the heck did I just read? Listen, like, I know this whole video so far has been me kind of vaguely remembering it, but now that I've actually read it, what? What? Ah. Okay. Let's get into the first of the three problem issues. Issue number four. Four pounds of back bakery, French toast, two turtlenecks, and a beer. Before I even show you a page from issue four, might I say, what is wrong with the art style? Look at these kids. They look like they're melting. They literally look like they are decomposing before our eyes. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! So after the final battle with Wise Man in issue 3, issue 4 picks up with knights in the real world, slowly losing their energy due to being outside of the night dimension for too long. Meanwhile, Rial is able to inflict nightmares upon Ellis and Clary. Did I seriously write that down in the script? Oh, I actually did misspell them. Okay. Meanwhile, Riel is able to inflict nightmares upon Ellet and... Ellet? Are you kidding me? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Elliot and Claris, there we go, without much trouble due to Knight being outside of the Knight dimension. Meanwhile, in the real world, Knight is constantly unable to find a place where they fit in. They go to a group of skydivers, a group of circus clowns, an evil group that wants to blow up the Twin Seats Tower- <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, what?! Okay, who looked at Nights in the Dreams? You know, this scam. And said, you know what this game is missing? A hostile group with guns and later bombs that explode! What were the guys at Archie smoking? Anyways, the issue ends with Elliot and Claris being taken away by a truancy cop, but not before seeing Roger arrival to Elliot, only briefly seen in the intro cutscene of the video game and in the previous three issues, helping knights while under the influence of Riala. Because why not? Totally original plot device of the bad guy having a similar power to the good guy, am I right? Man, I remember when I first heard about this, I was excited for a story of knights in the real world instead of a dream version of the real world, like the final levels of both of the main knights games. But this just is, this is just a serious wasted opportunity of just so many different ideas you could have done. This just makes me glad this never happened in the games. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. Compared to the absolute feast of insanity that was issue number four, issue number five is boring. It's just really uneventful in comparison. Knights is in Roger's basement. The kids meet a cop lady who's investigating the group that want to blow up the tower. Riala talks with the Nightmare about why he's in charge, and this literally never comes back. The two Nightopians from the first three issues finally show up to do literally one thing. Lame, 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 lame! The part that gets me, though, is that the group that want to blow up the tower are rescued by a mechanized tank with arms. Boo! That is the worst! Ah. 
This is the type of insanity you would see in a dream in this game, not in reality. And I mean, I, I get it, they're taking liberties, but this is just... For Knights in a Dream standards, this is way too far. Uh, oh, dude, I really don't want to have to talk about issue number six. Do I really have to talk about issue number six? Okay, let's get to issue number six. This is the final battle. Okay, this is the part that they have to make everything up. A 33 out of 100 is still a failing grade, but at the same time, I mean, this is going to be a Knights vs. Riala issue. This is going to be an issue of the comics based on one of the best boss battles of the original game, and even the sequel. So, let me play for you what a typical boss fight against Riala looks like. Okay, that set the stage enough? Well, okay. Let's see how they do it in the comics. F*** it. If they gave up, so do I! I should have known. Why do I get my hopes up for this type of stuff? Yes, literally all that happens in this issue is a bomb goes off on the Twin Seats Tower, I wonder who did that, and then Riala crosses over somehow, and then they have a battle with Knights. And of course, Knights wins because it's a Knights in a Dreams comic. Riala's barely even in these comics anymore. Why even have this fight? Just have Knights fight the bad guys. In fact, why even have the bad guys? Literally, this makes me realize the entire issue that the dudes with the bombs are only in this comic series so that they can have an excuse to get Riala in the real world. Why not just make it where everybody having weird dreams is enough to power the gateway? Why not have some sort of, like, I don't know, experimental portal test or something, like in Big Hero 6? Just anything but the bomb! Just literally... Anything! That's all you have to do! Anyways, the comic ends with Knight successfully defeating Riala after Roger quits giving him his life force, and then going back to the Knight Dimension. And that's it. Yeah, I wouldn't have planned for a sequel either, after, especially after the first one and this one now. My gosh, dude, this whole thing was a trip and not- Okay. From the top, one last time. The Knights in the Dreams comics by Archie are bad. And just... My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I'm at a loss for words. I am beyond disappointed. Thank you guys for sticking through and watching through the rest of this video. I understand this is a bit of an unorthodox video and a bit of a weird format, considering that I have a purely static medium to have to look at instead of a digitally animated one, or just an animated one in general. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for sticking with me, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.